Doomsday versus Carnage. Hellbent on murder and destruction, all these two walking nightmares see is crimson red. But in a fight, well, who's gonna be coming out on top? And especially since Carnage has gotten a massive power up, becoming one of the most powerful villains on Earth. So who wins? Well, let's break it down. Doomsday is essentially the living embodiment of death. Darkseid himself called him Death Personified. And with accolades like that, you gotta be impressive. And Doomsday really is. Superman said that Doomsday could rip the planet in half if he really wanted to. And man, he's sent Supergirl flying. He's knocked around Wonder Woman. He's overpowered both Orion and Martian Manhunter. John said that he'd never been hit as hard as he's been hit by Doomsday. He's even taken down the whole Justice League before. I mean, Doomsday has trounced the League all by himself. And there have been all his fights against Superman. He's punched Superman like he's never been hit before. He can hit harder than anybody else Superman has fought. And Doomsday just continues to get stronger and stronger as they fight. I mean, there was a reason why they created this guy back in the 90s in the comics. It was literally to kill Superman, to be stronger, to be more powerful than Superman. And man, has he shown that over the years. He might have even shown that he's more powerful than Superman's ultimate villain, Darkseid. He fought against Darkseid, overpowered Darkseid, beat Darkseid all up, just trashed the guy and left him for dead. Like literally on the verge of death where he could barely stand and Superman had to step in and save the guy's life. That's how bad Doomsday beat Darkseid, the Lord of Apocalypse, the guy who's beat Superman with just two punches before. Yeah, Doomsday is no joke. But also, I would really take Doomsday legitimately beating Darkseid with a big hunk of salt. That doesn't seem right at all. Basically though, Doomsday has done a lot of impressive stuff. There was even a time where he plowed through many different versions of Gog, who were able to fight against members of the Justice Society and defeat Kingdom Come Superman. And he's torn through countless different Empirix probes, where just one probe was enough to give Superman a run for his money. And Doomsday is really just as tough too. He's taken attacks from Wonder Woman, from Martian Manhunter, from a lot of Kryptonians, from Superman himself. He's taken punches from Superman before, where Clark said he was hitting him with everything he's got. He's taken thousands of punches from Superman all in an instant. He's been sent flying around and landing all over the place by Superman on just a semi-regular basis, and Doomsday just consistently refuses to go down. He's also taken Superman's heat vision, last from Green Lantern, Orion's energy beams, a guardian of the universe, went full on kamikaze on him, and it just barely put Doomsday out. He came back a little while later. Even Darkseid's Omega beams were enough to put Doomsday down for like maybe a few seconds. He was back up almost instantly. And of course, here's the real kicker. Doomsday quite literally cannot be killed. He can't be permanently put down. He's always going to keep on coming back. No matter what you throw at him, no matter what you send his way, you can even straight up kill him. Doomsday is still going to keep on coming back. Doomsday has literally evolved past death. Cletus Cassidy was a brutal, deranged serial killer, murdering anyone he could, even burning down his orphanage as a boy. Eventually, Cletus found his way to sharing a jail cell with Eddie Brock. And after Eddie broke out from prison, well, a bit of the symbiote was left behind. This then bonded with Cassidy, transforming him into the monster, Carnage. And ever since then, well, Carnage has been on a one-man killing spree across all of Marvel, battling against Spider-Man, Venom, and plenty of other heroes. Being the son of Venom, Carnage is actually stronger and more powerful than his father. 
and actually outclasses almost every other symbiote out there. He's been able to overpower both Spider-Man and Venom, regularly knocking them around with his punches and kicks, he's even managed to overpower both of them at once. Carnage has absolutely no problem with flexing his strength in a fight and absolutely abusing it whenever he can. Same with his speed too. Carnage is lightning fast and will consistently abuse that speed, especially when fighting against people who are slower than him. Carnage has routinely been able to kill and slaughter people before they could even react. And then when he's battling against Spider-Man or Venom, well, he's been able to regularly blitz them too. Spider-Man can't dodge Carnage's attacks, yet Carnage is regularly able to dodge Spider-Man's. Same with Venom. Lastly, well, we gotta talk about Carnage's durability and regeneration, a significant factor for any symbiote. He was just fine taking an attack from the Sentry before the sentry ripped him in half. But even then, after that happened, where the Carnage symbiote was able to keep Cassidy alive, as he was torn in two and floating in outer space. He's taken attacks from superheroes like Nova, from villains like Doctor Doom, and Carnage has just laughed off the hardest punches that Spider-Man can throw, been just fine taking all-out beatdowns from Venom, too. And then again, Carnage has a pretty nice healing factor to go along with all this, to the point where he can completely regrow his head in an instant, making him very, very hard to permanently put down. And then being a symbiote, well, Carnage has some pretty insane abilities to stretch and manipulate his body basically using it to do whatever he wants. His go-to move is to create blades out of his body, then slice and dice his enemies. But even on top of that, while he's regularly sending out tentacles to restrain people or suffocate them, basically turning bits of his body into bullets that he can shoot out at people, and just overall being a menace. Carnage is without a doubt one of Spider-Man's most powerful enemies, and one of the most dangerous and unrestrained killers in all of Marvel. So who wins? Well, let's break it down. Now, a few years ago, this fight wasn't even close. Carnage is an enemy to Spider-Man, Doomsday is an enemy to Superman. Enough said, Doomsday would stomp Carnage with just one hit, just like the Sentry did. But now, while well, Carnage has had a massive power upgrade alongside the King in Black, becoming one of the most powerful villains on Earth. And suddenly, well, this fight became a whole lot closer than it's ever been before. Like at first, Carnage was reborn out of a piece of the symbiote dragon Grendel, began killing everyone who had ever had a connection with a symbiote showing off some serious, serious power along the way. Like he was able to manhandle Venom at this point, easily overpowered Spider-Man, even beat Captain America, Wolverine, and the Thing all at the same time. But that can't quite put Carnage on the same level as Doomsday. But Carnage was also able to fight against Weapon H, a hybrid of Hulk and Wolverine, with the strength and powers of both and even fought against a venomized Hulk, overpowering the Hulk, working his way into the Hulk's brain, and attacking him that way, then ripping the Venom symbiote straight off Hulk's body. Then on top of that, well, Carnage was also able to take all sorts of attacks from Weapon H, from Ghost Rider, and from Hulk himself, and he was perfectly fine through all of it, winning all of his fights along the way. So yeah, like we said, Carnage got a significant power upgrade, and he can definitely give Doomsday a good fight. But then on the other hand, this is Doomsday. This is a guy who's on par with Superman and the Justice League. And considering that scaling in DC Comics is crazy, of course he's more powerful. I mean, just look at his fights against Superman. And Superman is a totally broken character. 
He's shattered timelines and broken the boundaries of space-time during some of his fights. He's actually even said that concepts like weight or even space-time have lost all their meaning to him. He's pushed apart whole realities before. He's shook the whole phantom zone, an infinite, limitless, and endless universe, and even said that he could destroy it altogether. This is the guy that Doomsday is able to fight against and beat. And it's not just Superman. He's also beaten Darkseid before in a fight. Although that was probably an avatar of Darkseid, not the multi-dimensional true form of Darkseid. He's even punched his way out the Phantom Zone, which is just totally broken because the Phantom Zone is a dimension without dimensions and it can exist in several different layers of reality. And Doomsday just punched his way out of it. Absolutely crazy. But then we get into the even newer and even more powerful version of Carnage. Dark Carnage with the All Blood or All Blood Carnage or God Carnage. There are basically two things to talk about here. One, it's the All Blood Sword itself. All Blood the Necro Spear is for all intents and purposes a stronger, more powerful version of All Black, the Necro Sword forged by Carnage in the same forge that crafted planet-shattering universal weapons like Mjolnir and Gungnir. Basically, it's a divine weapon on par with the All Black, a sword capable of one-shotting gods and cosmic beings. And then Carnage went about on his quest to kill all the kings in Black, absorbing their powers in the process. And with the All Blood, Carnage was more than capable of doing this, because not just was he able to kill the Silver Surfer and absorb his power cosmic, but he actually managed to kill Null as well, absorbing his Necro power. And let me tell you, Null is seriously powerful. He's a king in black, a primordial entity empowered by the Celestials to act as a dark balance to the Beyonders, or the Kings in white, maintaining the multiverse through its connection to the living abyss. This is the being that Carnage was able to literally one-shot. And even though Doomsday has been doing some crazy stuff in recent years too, it's not quite the same. Even with Doomsday being King of Hell, well it comes with quite a few caveats. Yes, he was able to make hell his playground, and yes, the first of the fallen was scared of him, and yes, he was absolutely rocking Martian Manhunter and Supergirl, even though Supergirl was fighting in an armor meant to fight against the presence. But here's the catch, hell is a belief-based realm. If enough people believe that Doomsday could do something, well then he could do it, that's how it worked. Belief is what made Doomsday this strong, and when that belief was turned against him by Martian Manhunter, well, he was left trapped in hell. And when Doomsday eventually made his way out, well, he was beaten by Superman just like normal. It's honestly crazy for me to even say, but at this point in comics, well, Carnage is actually the more powerful one out of the two. It would be a great fight. Doomsday does not go down easy, but with as powerful as Carnage is at the moment, well, I see him winning this one. No way around it. Carnage wins. But what do y'all think? Sound off in the comments down below. I know you're going to have thoughts and feelings on this one for sure. If you stuck around this long and made it to the end of the video, that's amazing. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting us. And if you want to go subscribe, well, go subscribe. You're going to see more videos like this one every single week. I'll see y'all then. I'll see y'all next time.